in a place where the land me see There is a home so sweet, the house of an artist With something to show us, painting pictures with brush and pen Up on the paper in a book that's so beautiful It is a joy to read because the stories you find in this book of wonders Are some of the most amazing you will hear For the stories were inspired over the ages By God's Holy Spirit who guided it right as long ago The Mustard Seed Hello, Hello Ferdinand. Father John oh, Ferdinand. Please come in Hello Ferdinand Thank you Father John oh, good, good. Hello children Hello Ferdinand, how are you? I have a letter for you oh. And oh, also a cake that my wife oh, made for oh, all of you wow. A cake for us, oh lovely Please say thank you to your wife How is she? Very good. She wants me to tell you that she loves you all. Why don't you stay and have some of the cake your wife made? <laughs> Thank you, Leopold, but I still have to deliver all this mail. Oh, that's a lot. Well then, goodbye, Father John. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye children. Goodbye, Remember, you can come whenever you want. Thank you. Mm. Goodbye. 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 Bye. See you soon. We have so many visits from our friends, Father John, and they bring us presents. Yes, yes, yes. it's because they love us, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, because yes, they love because us. Because they love us. Mm. Uh, I want the biggest slice. Well, OK. I'll cut it up then, but... There's enough for everybody. Oh, can we eat the cake yet? That's yes, true. Yes, yes, Father John, can we eat the cake now? Can we? Hmm? The cake? Mm. Hmm? Yes, you can eat it. Oh, oh okay. yes. Oh, okay. yes. I want the biggest slice, remember? Oh, oh, yum, 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 yum. By the above, we inform you that the house you occupy has been put up for sale. So we ask you to remove your belongings as quickly as possible. Sincerely, Henry Turner Brown, lawyer. They want to take our house. Oh, good. Oh, we're not that. Look at Father John. It seems like he's received some bad news and he's praying with a troubled face. Huh? He does look troubled. I'll get closer and listen to his prayer. Okay. Okay, go, go. Lord, may your will be done. Because whatever you want will be the best. Because you love us. He's asking that God's will be done. What's in the letter, Father John? Is it something bad? Nothing that can't be solved. Oh, okay. Children, okay. I have to go out. I'll be back soon. Okay, okay, okay see you later. Okay, okay, bye. He looks worried. Mm. 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 Well, what's in that letter that made Father John leave in such a hurry? I don't know. Well, he said he would find a solution. Oh. But maybe we can help him solve it. That's true. But that's grown-up uh, stuff. What can we do to solve it? Oh, Renata. Maybe we could help. Um, we could read the letter. <gasps> no! You can't read other people's letters. Oh, oh, that's true. We'll just see who sent it, okay? Oh. Let's see. Henry Turner Brown. Oh. Here, let hmm? me see. Let's see. Huh? Henry Turner Brown. But why did he go in such a rush? I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry about it, Leopold. He'll explain it all oh. later. Oh, well. Yes? Shall we have more cake? Oh, okay, I can eat a bit more. Hello, children. Hello, Hello Father John. John. The cake was delicious. Mm, it was lovely. What did you have to solve, Father John? I've bought some rope for the bells in the bell tower. Oh, that's a long piece of rope. Can you hold this end, please? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll help. Oh, it's a really long... Father John, why are you worried? The truth? I'm not worried. But why were you worried before? Yes. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, but only okay. because I need you to pray. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. You know that this house isn't uh -huh. mine. Yes. It has an owner. That's true. But they let you stay here. Yes. That's it. Uh -huh. But it seems that now he wants to sell it. What? He wants, he wants to, to sell, sell your house? house? Oh. Yes, he wants to sell it. Oh, but well, why don't you buy it? Yes, yes, yes you can buy it. I don't have the money. Oh. All that we can do oh, no. is pray and wait for God to find a solution. Oh, okay. but there'll be another but solution. But what if there's no solution? If there's no other solution and we have to go, 
it will be the best for us. What? Oh. If we have to go, then why are we fixing the bells? Uh, hmm. Yes, yes, yes what's true. the point? Children, we still don't know if we have to go. Only God knows. We have to learn to trust him, and whatever happens, that will be the best for us. Oh, well, okay. I won't understand if we have to go. Yes, me too. Yes, it wouldn't be easy to understand. No. Do you know that when I first found this house, it was a this ruin? A ruin. A this ruin. Was a ruin? Yes, a ruin. What are you saying, Father John? That's impossible. I've been here since I was a tadpole, and I've always seen it as new. It yes. wasn't always like that. Wasn't? Uh-uh. It was poor and humble. Many of God's things start that way. Really? Oh. Want to see how it looked? Yes, yes. how it was. Yes. Look. Yes. Show us, Father John. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. What's that, Father John? Some photos. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well. Is this the house? It's changed a lot. Who are those kids, Father John? Those kids are a friend of mine and... Can you guess who the kid in the white sweater is? Uh, another friend of yours? No. Another boy? Can't you guess who the other boy might be? Uh, no, we, uh, we don't know. know. Oh, it's you! Of course oh, it's, it's you. me. But you weren't dressed as a monk, Father John. I no. can't believe you were once a boy. Yeah. I was also a child once. This is my friend Hank. We used to come here to play. We loved this abandoned place. So mysterious. This place is amazing. So mysterious. Come on, let's go inside. This house has been abandoned for many years. Let's go inside. <laughs> Look, this plank's blocking the door. Let me see. Oh, look, it, it's up there at the window. Come on, let's go. Let me look. This way. I've got it, I've got it here. That's it. Okay, it's off. Come on. Wow, it's all broken up. Wow. Hey, look at all this stuff. And this old painting. Wow. It's beautiful. It's been really old. Hey, look at this amazing crucifix. Wow. He looks like a king. It's really clean. What if this place isn't abandoned? <gasps> what if someone's still living here? What if this is a robber's hideout? <gasps> look, there's tools and a cup. No, don't you see? No one could possibly live here. Look, the roof is broken. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Oh. oh no! What's that? I told you someone come on. was here. Oh. Oh. Hank, come on! I can't move. Oh. It's a monk. What He's getting do up. We have here? It's an old monk. There's nothing to be afraid of. Maybe it's an old man with a gun. He's a monk. He's not going to carry a gun. No. Well, it seems we have visitors. <gasps> He's coming closer. Come Run no, through. no, huh? don't what? go. I haven't received a visit for a long time. Oh. You live alone? Aren't you scared? We could be thieves. No, I'm not afraid. Why do you say I live alone? I live with the most powerful king of the universe. A king? Where? A king lives here? This is the king. That's the king. He's so good to me. Every time I need something, he sends it. Wow. I was telling him that I feel alone, and look, he sends you. But how can you live in this house? It's full of holes. Aren't you cold? I have gloves, and a cap, and socks, and hot tea. Tell me, do you want some hot tea? Of course you uh, would. Okay, you will get warm. You. Would you like sugar? Hmm. 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 Do you want it with sugar? No, thank you. Yes, thank you. You're very kind, Father. I'm George. Father George. 
Have you always lived alone? No. There were several monks before. But the Lord called them to heaven. Wouldn't you prefer to live somewhere else with more people around you? Oh yes, you live with your king, you told us. Well, I believe that God wants me to stay here. I dream of this house full again of people. Wow. Because God puts dreams in our hearts to fulfill them. Really? It is true. Well, and you? What dreams do you have? What do you want to be? Best friends. Yes, best friends. I think that's wonderful. It's a very noble dream. What else do you want to be? I want to be a football player or astronaut. Someone important that earns a lot of money. And so you will be happy? Maybe. I don't know. I think so. Hmm. Think about it. Because happiness is a serious matter. And you, John? Well... I don't mm -hmm. know yet. Mm -hmm. I like to sing mm -hmm. and help people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the moment... Yes, please tell me. You know, I would like to fix this place so you can live better. Oh, that would be great, but I couldn't pay you. Don't worry, I'll do it for free. Oh, a generous spirit. Would you do it alone? Will you help me? Paint all this? It's a good idea, but... It would cost a lot of money. You'd have to hire people, get materials. This house is falling down. We could do it bit by bit. Bit by bit. We're just kids. We gotta grow up and study and earn money and... And besides, he could die any moment. Can't you see how old he is? But we would make his dream come true. And besides, our company's good for him. Boys, hmm? here's something I want to show you that I'm sure you'll like. Clear a space. Thank you. Mm. Look. Wow. wow. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. It's wow. incredible. It's moving. This is the parable of the mustard seed. Wow. Then Jesus asked. Then Jesus asked, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it to? The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants. And becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. Did you make it? Yes, I made it. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful story. Parable. It's called Parable. Jesus used to tell them. What did you like the most about the parable? I really liked that such a little seed you can barely see grows to become a big tree. Yes, and from there the branches grow so big that the birds can come and make their nests in them. But did you understand the meaning of the parable? Well, more or less. I will explain it to you. Look, things from God start small and insignificant. Sometimes a dream, a wish. But should we fear the smallness? No. He will provide all that is needed for the seeds to grow. Uh -huh. He tells us that we can be holy. A really big tree. Great, Hank. We can have a really good time. Father George, what's the first thing you want us to do? Hmm, over there, I've got some green paint and brushes. Hmm, would you like to start painting these shelves? Yes. Yes, great. Come on, here's the paint. 
So you painted this shelf when you were just a boy? Mm. Yes. Father George, Hank and I painted it. Oh. And Father George's house is now filled with friends. Yes, filled with friends. I'm yes. sure he's now looking at us from heaven. Oh, that's true. Hey, John, Father John, what happened oh. to your friend Hank? Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, oh. I haven't heard from him in a long time. Oh. Oh, dear. As you see, Mr. Johnson, the location here is excellent. With a view of the sea. The interior is full of possibilities, even though it's in ruins, but imagine the luxurious decor with antiquities, of course, just as you like it. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Good afternoon. Well, I don't remember it being like this. It really changed. Are you looking for something? Yes, look. I sent the letter requesting you leave the house. But that letter only just arrived. Do you mean this one? Yeah, look, I think it would be better if you left everything as it is. Mr. Johnson, here you can see the quality of the construction. Look, genuine granite stone carved in the so-and-so century. Oh, and over here, and a solid oak door with antique rustic fittings. All the beams in perfect condition. Ah, and this antiquity? Surely worth a fortune. And this Bible. Yes, what an artistic Bible. treasure. Excuse me, but that's ours. Yes, well, yes. we'll see about that. Huh? You were sent a letter asking you to remove your belongings. What? They're no longer he yours. He wants to take your book, Father John. You can't do that. Father John painted that. Yes, this house isn't yours either. Yes. It was a ruin before Father yes. John repaired it. Yes. And now it welcomes Tell lots of people. <laughs> a ruin. Yeah. What a cute yes. little mouse. It was a ruin that nobody wanted. Yes. Yes, it was a ruin. Uh, is that true? Yes. yes. Uh, no, well, that's not important right now. Oh. Look, I'll prove it. Yes. Oh, that's true. This photo? Huh? This photo's mine. Huh? This boy here's me, and this one's an old friend of mine. Where in the world did you get this photo? Are you that boy? I think you're wrong. Huh? That one is Father John's friend, and the other huh? one is Father John. Yes, yes. Look, kid, huh? I can huh? easily recognise my face. Huh? huh? I took this photo when I was a kid, when I used to come to this place. And you played with me, and you told me you'd always be my friend. What? Oh. Your, your friend? I think you're confusing me with someone else. I'm afraid not, Hank. If you're that boy in the picture, well, then I'm the other one. You're John? The same, at your service. You're John! <laughs> this is amazing. You see, with these clothes I would have never recognised you. You're my friend, John! Hmm. I see I was right in the end. You became a lawyer. <laughs> and you? Looks like you became what you wanted to be, hmm? What I wanted, and what God wanted from me. And you're happy? Very happy. And you? You're happy? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I've always got work. And the money's good. Never short on it. So why does he want to take her home then? Because, Timothy, he wants even more money. You don't understand. That's not right. Hey, hey, relax. We'll see what we can do. I'm living. Oh. Please call me if you find an empty house. But, but, Mr. Johnson, please, wait a moment. We can talk later in my office. Huh. That was rude. He believes it because he's got the money. Oh, he's gone. Anyway, you see, John? It's not John, it's Father John. You see, I need the house unoccupied. I'm sorry, but business is like that. I understand. Before you make that decision... I want to show you something. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what is it? That book. Do you remember? Father George's book. You still have it. I still have it. It's a book. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Whoa. It's amazing. Yes. Wow. How beautiful. And the seed that was Father George's dream became a tree where many feel welcome and know God. So you rebuilt this house by yourself? Bit by bit, as I told you. I thought the project was crazy. I never thought you'd actually continue it. At times I remember that parable. And the little monk. Really kind. You fulfilled his dream. But he did want people to come here. We receive a lot of friends here. We're all like those birds. In the mustard tree. It's incredible.
On the other hand, I am alone, attempting to hide behind money. That's not happiness, because living for money shuts off your heart. If only I'd remembered that parable more often. You still have time to be happy. Our Heavenly Father's heart is our shelter. <laughs> Father John, maybe we can listen to the music box and it will help your friend to remember what's important. Of course we can. It's a great idea. Yes, it's a good idea. Yes. Father, I'll open it. I'll do it. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see too. That's a tree. Oh, that's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's birds and flowers. Look. It's wonderful. Oh, they're pretty. Look at the colours. What kind of tree is that, Father John? It's a mustard tree, Leopold. It's really, really beautiful. Oh, mustard tree is lovely. One day a sower comes to work his land And carefully plants a small seed in the ground That little seed looks simple, oh so tiny But inside is a tree that's great and mighty of all the seeds the sower has to scatter This little one is smaller than the rest Hidden on the inside its great mission To be the one that is the biggest and the tallest God has planted big dreams there inside you But maybe you don't realize they're there the day will come when we will all discover The perfect plans he has are really worth it We won't despise the days of small beginnings 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 this big tree is now stretching out his branches Bunches of green leaves sprout everywhere And many birds build nests to make their home in And they all can find shelter among the foliage But beware, we often seem so little There are moments when we can feel so small Please be careful you don't choke the growing branches Or the world would lose a tree that one day you could be God has planted big dreams there inside you But maybe you don't realize they're there The day will come when we will all discover The perfect plans he has are really worth it we won't despise the days of small beginnings 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 John. His name is Father Tim. Yes, Sorry, little man. His, His name, name is Tim. Tim. Sorry, Tim. That's it. John. Father Sorry, John. Father John. His name is... Truthfully, you've created a place full of beauty, and I wanted to go and sell it. This is priceless, but because it's not only beauty, it's, it's, it's goodness, it's respect, it's love. Um, would you like some cake? Oh, thank you, Renata. This is good. It's been it's ages good. since I've tried a cake without having bought it. Very good, Renata. Oh, it's good. I see you're good with people. On the other hand, I've been after money my whole life. No matter the cost. I shouldn't have become a lawyer. Why not? Lawyers are meant to defend the helpless. The helpless? It's true. Defend the helpless. Of course. The little ones, the disrespected, and the ones who've had their house taken from them. I now know what tree I need to be. One who shelters the little birds and protects them. Oh, this is fabulous, oh, Hank. Really you give me great joy. But I have no idea where to begin. I'm all selfishness and not a saint. We won't despise the days of small beginnings. 
God will make the tree grow in his own time. Yes. Look, there once was a saint. Oh, a saint, a saint, a saint. Let me see. Come on, Tim. A saint who had a dream like yours. His name was John Bosco. St. John Bosco lost his father at the age of two, and his mother had to work with the help of her three children just to survive. At the age of nine, he had a dream. A group of kids were fighting and swearing, and he wanted to beat them up and to stop them. But then Jesus appeared and told him, not with fists, but with kindness and love, you'll win them over start to teach them. John found this an impossible task. Suddenly, instead of kids, there were wild animals. Then, our Lord gave him his mother, the Holy Virgin Mary, as a teacher. She told him, make yourself humble and strong. What you see happening to these animals, you must do with my children. He then saw how all those wild animals became harmless lambs. John didn't understand the dream at that moment. He was little, and he didn't know the great things God would do with him. When he was older, God called him to become a priest. One day, he saw a sacristan beating a boy for not knowing how to do his chores. St. Bosco defended him, and the boy confessed that he had not received the First Communion never read the catechism, and also that he was poor and an orphan. St. Bosco gave him his first catechism lesson. The next Sunday, that boy came back with another 20 children to meet that priest that had treated him so well. A few months later, there were 80. After two years, there were 800 of them who wanted to stay with him and learn about God. Many of these abandoned boys used to work really hard for little money. St. Bosco helped them. They found a house that they repaired and there he educated them with kindness. They had enough to live. They also created workshops so they could work in good conditions. St. Bosco was fun and joyful and the kids saw in him the happiness and the love of Christ. Over the years, congregations of priests and nuns were created and houses and schools were built all over the world to educate the children with love, just like St. Bosco did. Oh, St. John Bosco. Did you like the life of this saint? Oh, yes. I really loved it. It's incredible how she started with one boy and ended up helping 800. But of course... He was a saint. But we are all called to be saints, not only priests and nuns. Saint Hank doesn't sound bad at all. (laughs) Well, I think I'm going to start with a good deed. I'm going to ask my clients to not sell the house. I know them. They are good people. See, we always need to trust in God. Shall we finish fixing the ropes for the bells? Here. Thank you.